Hi, and thanks for coming to watch this video from Carolina Varsity. We're taking a look at the uh, North Carolina uh, high school playoffs, and we're uh, we're in the uh, 3A uh, West, and we're going to take a look now at uh, Patton, who is seven and four, number six out of the West, coming over to play uh, Forest View, number three out of the Midwest. And uh, Jeff, uh, you follow uh, Forest View very closely. So what uh, what you got to say about this game? Well, I've seen a mixed bag with Forest View these past few weeks. I've seen a Forest View team um, get blown out of the water, forty-five to three and thirty-nine to six, and also um, force one team into five turnovers in a twenty-seven to thirteen win, and also domin dominate forty-eight to six on the final week of the season. And of course, there's that twenty-eight nothing win over Kings Mountain earlier this year. And, uh, you know, if Force U's defense can show up, you know, create some turnovers and the offense takes care of the ball and keeps doing what they like to do, which is pound the ball, pound it successfully, they have a chance. Mm -hmm. But uh, then there's a couple things that stand out to me about Patton. I mean, their offense puts up numbers, too, just like Maiden's offense does. And... One game that stands out is their 72 to 52 win over Wilk Central mm -hmm. and uh, 55 to 34 win over Hickory and finally their 35 to 28 win over Freedom at the end of the season. I don't think they've ever beaten Freedom. Um, if y'all can help me out on that, but uh, I think Forshu's got a really good chance to win this game, but if the defense comes out flat and then the offense does not take care of the ball, it's this is Patton's game to win. All right, so if a Patton uh, viewer comes to watch this video, who's uh, who are a couple of players that they should uh, pay attention to at Forest View? Well, their quarterback, um, we talked about that. His name escapes me right now. And they have two 1,000-yard uh, rushers on the season. So well, I'm and, talking about Forest View. Forest View? Yeah. Well, Forest View. Forest View players. Yeah, Forest View's. Uh, players. Name, yeah, number and name for, for the viewers. Yep, uh, number 21 for Forest View, JV on Love. And number 24, also running back, is Chaparral Smith. Mm -hmm. you know, they've uh, they put up some great numbers this year. I mean, they've had a couple of games where, you know, the defenses were just too good, but Javion Love and Chaparral Smith and number 44, the big bruising fullback slash nose guard, Nathan Whitaker. That's another player to look out for. And he also wreaks havoc at his natural nose guard position on defense. So, and, and Force U's linebackers, they do swarm to the ball. So, okay. you heard that havoc. So, uh, the report is predicting a 22 to 18 Forest View win. So that's a very tight ball game here in the playoffs. If the report sees something, uh, I think inside of a, a touchdown, that means it's almost anybody's ball game, close to a toss up. So uh, really going to be who uh, who brings the you know looking at the scores here looks like who might bring the little bit better defense. Uh, uh, or you could say offense, but uh, this looks like it's going to be a lower scoring game, 22-18. Uh, Offenses are going to be held back. Who's going to hold? Who's going to hold? Uh, which offense back a little bit more? Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let us know what you think about the game. Should you attend?